Sehr geehrte Zuschauer, Dear valued audience, welcome tonight after moving last week. This past week, even two encouraging news reached us, which we would like to share with you. The first one is about the situation in the East Ukraine and lets the question arise whether the new Ukrainian government that seized power by force, the EU and also the US possibly expected the course of things in the Ukraine to turn out a little bit differently. We observe that the people in the Ukraine obviously were not taken into consideration. As a reminder, last Monday, April 7th, pro-Russian demonstrators occupied the regional administration in Donetsk and Kharkov and hoisted the Russian flag on the roofs. In Donetsk, they founded a People's Council, which announced a referendum for the association with Russia. The Minister of the Interior, Azen Avakov, threatened to stop their protests within 48 hours, if necessary, also by force. Therefore, he sent special troops to that region. But the plan failed. On Fri Friday, April 11th, it was known that leaders of the Ukrainian Special Troops Alpha rejected to carry out commands from Kiev to storm the administration buildings in Donetsk and Lugansk. We will only act according to law. Our troops are set up for setting free hostages and for anti-terror actions, local media cited one of the Alpha leaders. Also, co-workers of the SEK commando, former Berkut, which came to Donetsk for negotiations with the pro-Russian population, supported the demands of the demonstrators and also rejected to fulfill the order from Kiev. The rejection by the special troops is a small foretaste of what we all wish. Imagine war is declared and nobody participates. The second good news is the success of the Enlightenment movements. Medienklagemar.tv and other Enlightenment platforms proved the thesis spread by the mainstream media wrong shortly after the deadly incidents on the Maidan, that the snipers were supposedly instructed by the government of Yanukovych. Millions of viewers watched our broadcasts. Now even the German TV station ARD utter their doubts on the official version in their monitor broadcast of April 10th. In that broadcast, voices are raised which blame the opposition, respectively the current government of the Ukraine, for the incidents and make them responsible for the bloodbath. To support these statements, dear viewers, you will find pictures as a proof at the minor TV broadcast which you have already seen on Klagomor some weeks ago. Obviously, the wide enlightenment work has put pressure on the mainstream press. To not finally lose all their trustworthiness, they now report at least in a late-night show about the media's lie. Dear viewers, this even more shows how important daily and current counter voices are. What Monitor, little by little, only weeks afterwards calls enlightenment, had already been available and plausibly proven as a counter voice shortly after the incidents on the Maidan. Also, the call by the population in the East Ukraine cannot be ignored by the world anymore and the new government cannot afford a second Maidan. Let's not get tired to more and more move the weight to the other side of the scale by counter voices. Even if the USA dispatched another warship the destroyer USS Donald Cook as a threat into the Black Sea, it becomes more and more obvious for the world that this is a false game being played. A big part of the population of the Ukraine has understood it, parts of the special troops too. Let us take care that an uncountable number of people more also realize this and the proverb may become reality. Imagine war is declared and nobody participates. Thank you for your attention. See you next time.